Hi, welcome to Cooking for Two 101. I'm Christy, my husband John's behind the counter, and we have awesome news, well, at least for us. Our new Finex pan came today. I am so excited. So we recently lost our Finex, or not our Finex, our uh, cast iron skillet when we got a new stove. It was actually in the oven when they took it away. What a sad thing. So we did some research and we discovered that Finex is made here in Portland, Oregon, where we live. And we thought, oh, we so need to buy one of these. And here it is. Oh. Yes, they're a little bit expensive. Yes, it's probably gonna be phenomenal. Yes, I can totally justify it. I'm so excited. Here's the lid. It's absolutely beautiful. And here is the pan. Wow, look at that. It's awesome. It's got a cool handle that um, dis dissipates the heat a little bit. It's really heavy. I think it's 13 pounds or something. With the lid, I think. With the lid? Good to know. It's heavy. I will say that. The box was heavy. It comes with uh, some little cooking instructions, which is kind of cool. Here it is. I think it's uh, 12 inches across here and 10 inches across here. What we're going to do today is season this puppy so we can start cooking on it. Really excited. So we like to season our pans by putting some bacon in it. But before we do that, we're going to rub it down with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has a very high smoke content. It's really good for your pan. You just want to rub it in with a paper towel until it's almost all absorbed. Don't forget the sides. And when you're almost done, rub some on the bottom too. Man, this is heavy. So awesome. It's a good thing I got some muscles. All right, there we go. We are going to put this in a 300 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to pull it out and see if there's any excess oil. If there is, we're going to wipe it out. If there isn't, we're going to keep it in there for another 45 minutes to an hour. Then we're going to pull it out and let it cool down completely and make some bacon. See you then. Okay, one other thing we need to do is oil the lid. So we wiped uh, grapeseed oil on the top and the bottom. We put the pan in the oven at 350 degrees. It's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna take it out. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this pan is. It's shiny, it's smooth. The handle isn't unmanageable. It is a little heavy, I will say that. What we're gonna do next is make some bacon and then BLTs. Stay tuned. All right, so bacon's almost done. We actually turned the heat off about three minutes ago, just a little before the bacon was done because this pan holds so much heat, you don't wanna overcook your bacon. When you think it's almost done, turn the heat off because it gets hot. It's a beautiful pan. It, there's not a lot of sticking. Uh, we have a little bit of fawn down here, which is just gonna be delicious later. Um, it is heavy, but it feels like a bigger pan than it is because the top part, the octagon shape, seems like there's more room. And we were able to cook an entire pound of bacon comfortably in there, where normally we're shifting it around and we're tossing it and we're moving it. Worked great in here. We're gonna let this drain a little bit on a paper towel while we make our BLTs. Now, I'm pretty sure you probably don't need any advice on how to make a BLT. But, I do have some, if you want to hear it. I toasted some whole wheat bread. And John and I usually just share sandwiches, so it's just one piece of bread. Or I mean, well, two pieces of bread, one sandwich. <clears throat> I like to cut my lettuce up. That way, um, you can pile it up as high as you want to. It's not just one teeny tiny little sliver of lettuce. It's it's a nice, yummy bit of lettuce. 
I also like to use romaine lettuce. I think it's a little healthier for you. That dark green color is really good for you. So I'm just gonna layer of mayo, and I use avocado mayo. Actually, this is olive oil mayo, either one. I don't think they had avocado oil, or I would have bought that. And then salt and pepper, not just on your lettuce, but also on your tomatoes. They're so much better with salt and pepper. Delicious. And then the tomatoes on the other side of the bread, because they are so delicious. There we go, how pretty is that? And then the aforementioned deliciously crisp bacon from our new Finex pan. Thanks Finex, this is a beautiful pan and we heart you. Can't wait to make some more cool stuff in this, like, ah, I can't wait to make my first steak. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so uh, put the lid on, yum. Squish it down a little bit. Chop it like that. And, because I can, I'm gonna add some manchego to my side. <laughs> yum, yum. There they are. Oh, the guts fell out. Woo! Stupid manchego. <laughs> okay, there we are. If you enjoyed our video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos about cooking for two, don't forget to describe, <laughs> to describe, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching Cooking for Two. See you soon.